Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Welcome back to Alexandria again. It's like it's becoming Bertagala for me. Another settlement, another battle. Alexandria is the place. Now is the time. Let us take a look at the armies that we have a 3v4 here for today. So we have three attackers, four defenders. We can only see two of the defenders so far, as far as their armies are concerned. Uh, we do have a Macedon being commanded by Herf, and then we have an Arverni being commanded by Your Granny. Uh, there is also a Swaby being commanded by Al Zaif, I think. Uh, he's playing a Swaby. And we have a Sparta being commanded by Cardrinumal. Cardrinumal, I think. Getting out onto the attackers first, we will take a look here at Carthage being commanded by Doozy Bros. And he has seven Libyan infantry, three Samnite warriors, three Gallic warriors, one uh, late Libyan hoplite. General is a bodyguard. He also has three Cretan archers and a giant ballista. Then we have a Mesesili here being commanded by Olaf. And he has eight desert legionnaires, two Midian, new Midian spearmen. There we go. Two light Numidian infantry. Uh, one Desert Cohort. General is the Armored Numidian Rider. He also has five Heavy Skirmishers and a Scorpion. And then we have Rome all the way over here attacking by themselves. So that's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Rome being commanded by Byzantine. And he has seven Evil Cutty Cohort. Three Veteran Legionnaires. One Hastati. General is a Legatus. Three Syrian Archers. And one Balearic Slinger. So there you go. Army comps out of the way. About a 40-minute battle. A lot of Carthage climbing up these towers now. Interesting. Let's see how that plays out. But we do already have a wall section that has been knocked down. And I also have to make mention that I did see, as I was panning across the battlefield there, a ton of deployables. We have the sharp stone beds. We have the brimstone pits. We got the stakes. We got the sharp stone beds. Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. But all right. Let's get ready for the beginning of the battle, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let's get it going. Well, all right. So here we are in on the beginning of the battle replay. And uh, the Median Light Infantry came in and started knocking down the Caltrops, which that was, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, I there's a lot. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of deployables in this battle. But I mean, I guess it's, I don't even know. I don't even know. But anyway, 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 we see a lot more of the defending forces here. Uh, we have a lot of our Verney here. We have some Chosen Swordsmen. We've got some Celtic Warriors, some Celtic Slingers. Some more Celtic Warriors back here. Yep, now we got a bunch of Swaby and Sparta. So we have Swaby and Sparta defending against Rome. And then we will have our Verney and Macedon defending against Carthage and Mesesili. So interesting. But there's a lot of light troops here. A lot of spear levy. Uh, some Royal Spartans there. Okay, there you go. Hold on a second. Round shield swordsmen. Some more round shields. We got some wooden ass spears. Wooden ass spears are solid. Wooden ass spears can hold for a long time. But the defenders not choosing to hold the gatehouses at all. So they're just going to hold the inner streets here, I guess. We have some Rodian slingers that are now coming down off the walls. Some more round shield swordsmen. Royal Spartans again. Some Spartan youths there. Pretty, pretty standard frontline troop for Sparta. Spartan youths. You might see Spartan hoplites as well. Uh, back over on the other side, we have a lot of the Thorax Swords. We have three units of Thorax Swords up on the wall there for Mastodon, another unit down there. So, 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 so far, no real advancement. Uh, I thought that Misesli had sent some troops over here to start capturing up this tower because I don't see any defending troops over here, side of the one Chosen Swordsman, which they are in the circle, so they'll be able to keep control of that. But Carthage going to slip another tower, or no, I'm sorry, another tortoise over here Looks like he's going to knock down another wall section. So the defender... Okay, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. We got some veteran legionnaires in on the Spartan Utes. Spartan Utes are not going to live very long. Uh, some Rodian Slingers firing their stones, tossing their stones over here. Trying to claim some lives. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got archers here firing too. Oh, there you go. Some Cretan archers firing away. Okay, not a bad thing. They are getting some rear shots there. So, yep, they're getting some kills. Okay, dropping down those veteran legionnaires. Some Royal Spartans going to switch out with that Spartan youth. Ooh, these guys are going to take hits. Get shot in the back as they retreat away. Big time damage. 73 kills, though, for them. Now going to switch into that attacking Testudo. So not going to be as um, receptive of shots. Oh, what is this? We got a little bit of a problem here. 
We got some range units for Rome has moved very close to the front line. I mean, the Royal Spartans could take a charge out there. Ooh, God. Balearic's starting to take some shots. Balearic's still taking shots. Looks like the archers here, the Cretan archers, have switched their target as well. Firing over here to get to these Syrians. Rodian, I'm sorry, Balearic's still taking more losses. Gonna need to get another Cretan archer over here, though. Second Cretan archer to help burn down these Syrians would definitely help Sparta and Swaby out tremendously. Even if Swaby brought over, maybe if they brought Kimbri Bow women. Bring some Kimbri Bow women over there. That will definitely help out. Ooh, Cretans going the wrong way. Cretans are going the wrong way. You want to bring them that way. Don't run them to the arrows. The arrows here are going to be able to just fire away. Let's remind ourselves, armor for Syrians is 40. Armor for Cretans is 30. But right, back over on the other side here. Let's see. We have some of the Numidian Light Infantry have charged in onto Celtic Warriors. Celtic Warriors is not going to have all that much of a problem against the uh, Numidian Light Infantry. It says that they're winning currently right now. But it's probably maybe a unit got charged in the back. Yeah, never mind. Celtic Warriors combat even. Combat even for the Numidian Light Infantry there. Some more Numidian Light Infantry going to come over here. Charge in. Throw some javelins. Thorax going to respond or no? Thorax are not responding. I wonder why they're not throwing. Okay, well, they're just going to charge in. Just going to get into the fight there. Take on that Numidian Light Infantry. Back over here, we have our Verney. Looks like they have sent another Chosen Swordsman. They have their first unit still up on the wall there. So a second unit of Chosen Swordsman have come around, getting into this lately being hot plate. Not going, yeah, they didn't even get a kill. Have not even gotten a kill, not surprising. Uh, right behind them, we have some Gallic Warriors. Another unit of Gallic Warriors there. Some more infantry coming in. The Median Spearmen making their way in. Some of the Libyan infantry now making their way forward. Um, Carthage, okay, so he just moved his towers forward. Maybe that's to block javelins coming off of the walls that's actually a really good tactic there by carthage if that was his plan let's get back in on the other side oh god we got some rhodian slingers getting beaten down absolutely getting beaten down 32 left in the unit 61 kills now rome has the archers in the position that he wants them to be in he's getting some really good shots creating archers here 32 kills down to 57 men another unit there of creating archers they're getting shot by the syrians I don't even think they're responding back. Nope, they are not responding back. They're just standing there. And again, we have not seen the arch... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. We got one. Longbow hunters. I would bring the Kimbries. Bring the Kimbri bow women. Much better. Much, much, much better. Yes, the longbow hunters can sneak around. They have stock. Uh, but the Kimbri bow women, much better. Much, much better. In my opinion, much better. But right, back over on the other side, we have some of the Macedonian ranged here. Cretan archers, three Cretan archers, and a Rhodian slinger over here as well. Some more Thorax swordsmen, Royal Peltast, very nice. So, so far, the front line for the defenders on this side, at least, holding up. But let's remember, this is a 4v3, so or a 3v4, I should say, from the attacker's aspect, or the attacker's viewpoint of the battle. So it's going to be a little bit of a fight for the attackers, for sure, to try and get through here. Plus, not counting, I mean, Chosen Swordsman. Pretty solid. Gallic Warriors are good, but I feel like Chosen Swords were just a wee bit better. Just a wee bit better. dive back over on the other side here see how Rome is doing looks like he's still doing all right he's got his Syrians here let's see oh this one's taking some damage 38 kills only down to 52 men 119 men with 101 kills another Syrian right there 76 with 70 and the Balearics here with 73 with 83 men left in the unit so so far he's doing okay but it doesn't really look like he's pressing he's just kind of delaying these two armies over on this side He's delaying Swaby and Sparta for over here. He's just kind of, yeah, he's he's just hanging around. He's dancing his archers back and forth, doing a little bit of that arrow dance that you love seeing people do. Spartan youth's not looking good. He's actually getting some good shots. This Royal Spartan here down to 78 men with only 40 kills. More javelins coming in. Oh, stones, I'm sure. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, we got the round shield swordsman right behind them. Another 40 armor unit. Nothing really progressing in on this side. Oh wait, never mind. Just as I say it, the evil Kati cohort going to charge in onto some spear levy. Full unit, unfortunately, not getting the uh, charge off there. But I mean, again, it's just spear levy. And this is evil Kati cohort. They're not going to... Spear levy is not going to do anything to them. Not going to do anything. Probably got the 25 kills that they have from javelins. They're really not going to do very much past that. All right, we have some Gallic Hunters here. More Celtic Slingers. Is that two Celtic Slingers we have? Yes, it is. So the Gallic Hunters here could do a lot of damage. We have a Celtic Warrior that's retreating away. 21 left in the unit, 149. They obviously have routed away. But the Macedonian Archers here, the Cretan Archers, doing pretty good so far. 44, 45, and 17, 19 kills. Getting some solid shots into the back of these Desert Legionnaires here of Mesesli. So very nicely done so far to this point. Like I said, the defenders doing a pretty good job. I mean, they have some solid attacking factions. Mesesli, Carthage, Rome, very solid factions on attack. But they have a lot. The defenders have some really tough infantry here on the front line. Gallic Hunters are firing. Let's see if we can see what they're firing at. It says that they're firing. Do we get the... Uh, do we get to see? Are they firing in this direction? Maybe they're firing into that Libyan infantry. It says that they're firing, but they're not. Okay. I'm wondering if they're trying to fire into this Libyan infantry right there. Because that would be a fantastic place to be firing at. Getting some really good side shots into that Libyan infantry. And I'm saying that because you got the Cretans on this side from Macedon. Cross-firing into the Mesesli troops here. This would just be key. Yeah, okay, there it is. Firing away right into that Libyan infantry unit. Yeah, starting to see more of them dropping. Oh, yeah, there you go. More stones coming in here as well. But that is definitely a lot of arrows now making their way in. Uh, Arverni still holding this corner pretty successfully. Breaking a unit of the Gallic Warriors there. 50 men left the unit, 44 kills. Another unit charging in there. 104 men, 40 kills for them. So they're going to start making their way in. Now, do we still have the Sam Knights outside? I think he does. Sam Knight, Sam Knight, and he had another Sam Knight over here. If I remember, yeah, the other Sam Knight is over here. I'm a little surprised that they didn't bring any tortoises over here to knock down any of this. Even if they don't come in here... It's not a bad thing to have just another opening to be able to just kind of faint something. Maybe maybe not actually use it, but just a feint of, of an attack. Syrians moving up, 195 kills. Another unit making their way forward. 70, ooh, this one's not looking as good as this one. This one did a lot more damage. Evocati still stuck up in the fight. Round shield swordsman, another round shield swordsman making their way forward. Is that Pikes? Nope, Spartan Youths. More Spartan youths. Evocati cohort coming in. Veteran legionnaires getting into that Royal Spartan unit. We have a Macedon general that we see. Noble rider general for Swaby. Companion cavalry for Macedon. We see the Spartan Royal Spartan general. Uh, so we have not seen the Arverni general yet. If I recall correctly, we have not seen the Arverni general yet. Macedon probably wouldn't be bad. To maybe get over here and start helping out a little bit. A little bit. Just keep sure, make, making sure that these lines are still crossed. Making sure that everything is defended. Oh, wait. Here he comes. He's moving up. Thorax swords are making their way forward. This one's already seen combat. 132 kills. And they're about to get a solid flanking charge in onto that Desert Legionary unit. That was nice. Very, very nicely done on the charge there by Mastodon. Very nice. See how the rest of the line is doing. Arverni over here starting to have a bit of a problem. Starting to have a little bit of a problem sending over another unit of his chosen swordsman over here, though. 158, so that's a fresh unit. We have two fresh units here. Libyan infantry, chosen swordsman, Arverni and Carthage. Uh, 
Very good. Back over on the other side. I'm kind of interested, really interested to see how Rome is doing. That's why I keep popping back over here. I know that I try to, you know, showcase both sides of the battle, but Rome is over here attacking by themselves. And I got to say, he's doing all right. He's really doing okay. There's a lot of spear levy again, though. I will say that for Swaby. Lots of spear levy. But here we go. We've got some Royal Spartans now charging out into the Evocati. Royal Spartans bringing the fight to the Evocati cohort of Rome. Interesting. That is definitely very cool to see. But we got more infantry shifting around. We know the Evocati cohort over here. 18 kills. They've lost 51 men. Oh, boy. Got some archers up in melee. 124 kills for them. Oh, this is actually a nice little move right there. Evocati, get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rear charge that Royal Spartan. Slick move there. Not sure. Maybe Sparta didn't see that, but that unit of Royal Spartans was fighting archers. But oh, God. Royal Spartan general flanking charge into that Evocati cohort now. 208 for the Evocati. Very nice. Now he's got to watch for this. Yeah, right there. That archer unit broke. So this Evocati cohort was able to throw their last little bit of Pila into the back of that Rose Spartan. This Rose Spartan not looking good. Not looking good at all. The general's going to fall away. This unit's going to charge in there. Okay, good. Keep, keep trying to keep these guys tied up. That is the best thing for Sparta to try and do against Rome. Try and keep these units tied. Oh, that's not a good sign. That is the beginning of a not good sign here for Sparta and Swaby. Rome has the staircase. He was able to slip some men up onto the wall there. 87 veteran legionnaires on the wall. They have high ground now. Oh, that could be bad. Evocati Cohort going to hold the line here. Round shield swordsman, two Royal Spartans. That is not a good look. We have another sword, actually not another. We have a sword master making their way over here. That could be beneficial. That could definitely help out for the defenders. Round shield swordsman still trying to hold in the center. Spartan youths, again, still trying to hold against this Evocati cohort. Swing back over onto the other side. Do we have, uh, oh, there he is. Osworn general for Arverni. Very nice. Very, very good. Love seeing the Osworn. Hopefully we see some more Osworn here from Arverni. We've only seen that one unit so far. Carthage units are shattering and breaking away here, though. Not looking too good. We got a lot of range now making their way in here. This could be helpful. The heavy Numidian skirmishers of Mesesli are really solid. We have the Cretan archers, actually, for Carthage coming around over here. Two units of Cretan archers, full ammunition. That could be beneficial as well. Also, uh, the Carthaginian artillery, I would knock this down. Doesn't look like he's knocked this down yet. Has he? Oh, maybe he has. Maybe he has. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, he did. Okay, now I can see it. He has broken this down. Did he claim any lives? He might have claimed a little bit of this. Maybe. He didn't kill these guys all the way out there, though. Archers firing. There you go. Cretan archers of Carthage starting to fire into the front line here. Chosen Swordsman starting to take some losses. 53 men, 111 kills. We have these two units coming all the way down over here. And yeah, Arverni's going to fall away. Okay. Arverni's going to fall back. I wonder if maybe they could have actually fought that off, though. But I think... Oh, Skirmishers. Oh. Gallic Hunters, skirm Slingers. We had another Slinger here. There he is. Yeah. Arverni, I mean, the Celtic Slingers are good. Gallic Hunters is the way to go for Arverni. This center is looking a little weak. Could possibly be able to break through here. The attacker's now claiming this tower. That's big. That is big. They need to fall back because they're just going to lose. They're going to start losing men for no reason at all. Now, here we go. Oh, look at this. The Legatus General rumbling around back here. He's lost 15 men so far, 22 kills. Oh, he just charged into the Noble Rider General. That is that is not going to have a happy ending for the Legatus General. He's already down to eight. Yep, he's done. Legatus General is going to be no more. Two men left in the unit. Wavering and shattered. There you go. Oh, boy. Okay. But, I mean, 
Rome is actually not looking very good now. He's really not looking very good. He's pretty much gone. But, I mean, he did attack by himself. He was facing two forces. Royal Spartan's going to charge in onto the back of this Evo Cadi Cold War. 279 kills. I mean, it looks like from what I can see, these Roman units did pretty good. 279, this unit over here with 186. Still have a gal oh, longbow hunter that came back from routing. So now all of this that's over here, obviously they want to keep something over here to keep an eye on this breaches or on these breaches. But uh, anything that's not used over there in the form of defense can now come over here. And that's going to make this battle a lot harder for the attackers to attain their goal of getting into this settlement of Alexandria and be victorious. But I mean, I've seen it happen before. I have seen 3v4s where the, where the armies of three have won the fight. So we will have to see how this one continues on. Everything over here. Oh, we still have one more Roman unit. Wait a second. Hold on. Ivokati's still going 388. They're about to break through on this side, possibly. Yeah, they're shattering. They're routing these units. Route Shield Swordsman, both of those units have now broken. Sparta trying to get into the back of this Ivokati cohort. But the Ivokati, he's trying to... Oh, my God, he got through. Ivokati cohort have gotten through. They're being chased, though, hot on their heels, Royal Spartans and Swordmasters. So those Romans better run. They better run. Oh, never mind. They're not going far. Nope, there you go. Another Swordmaster. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think that was one of the most brutal javelin volleys I've seen. I've seen a lot of brutal javelin volleys, but that one was straight up nasty. Holy crap. Wow. All right. Back over on this side. Rodian Slinger, 63 kills. Oops. Got a couple more. They've only lost one man so far. Getting some good shots into the back of this Libyan infantry unit. Now, let's not forget, Samnites are still on order here. Yep. They got the two, three Samnites still ready. We have the Scorpion here from Asesli. Hey, doesn't even look like he's fired yet. Still moving closer to the wall. Uh, these Cretans look like they've pulled away from the corner. Have they neutralized this again? They have not. They, okay, so the attackers have been able to keep the defenders back from trying to reclaim this corner here. Uh, we have some Gallic Hunters here firing. I'm not sure where it is that they are firing. We have like a couple of Libyan infantry that have gotten around the corner here. I hope that's not where they're shooting. They're really not going to get very many kills. Got a little 1v1, 2v1 kind of thing going on here. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> or Verne got shot by the, by the tower that they were initially defending. Or keep, you know, defending to hold on to. Uh, so we got Chosen Swordsman here taking on Desert Legionnaires. Where is that cohort? Did he come inside yet, or is that him right there? Desert Cohort right there. So we have the Desert Cohort, Sam Knights starting to make their way inside. One unit of Sam Knight Warriors coming in here now. Now again, let us not forget, there is whatever was left over here making their way over here. So there's going to be a lot more of a defensive line. Swaby and Sparta will be making their way over here. General's bodyguard making his way forward. Ballista, 83 kills. I'm not sure. Maybe he took out some uh, some towers. Oh, not towers. Maybe he helped knock down some walls, but it looks like he's still got you. Nope, never mind. He's still firing. 
Way over here. Way over here. There you go. Claiming a couple more Cretan archers. Let's see what their kills are. 127, 148, 100. We still have the Rodian right there. 86 kills. Oh, God. Here comes Sparta. Royal Spartans exhausted making their way over here, though. They will definitely help out in the holding of the line. I don't think I would recommend Sparta to come here, though, because they have archers right there that can fire. Sparta, honestly, hold here. Hold here. Nope, he's going to hold right there. He's going to get shot. He is definitely going to get shot. I'm waiting to see it. These Cretans. Oh, they're out. Those Cretans are out, but they got Cretans out here. Yeah, no, no, no. These guys still have ammo. Yeah, they have ammo. And they both still have ammo. So, yeah, this this Spartan Hoplite right here, or this Royal Spartan, honestly, shouldn't even need to really be fought against. Attacker's starting to break through a little bit more. If the attackers had Cav right now, this could be a bad spot. This could definitely be a bad spot. Light Cav would be able to come right through there for Carthage. Rip right into those slingers. Kill them off very, very quickly. Macedon's still holding this corner. We have some Royal Peltas getting into a fight. What are they taking on right now? Libyan infantry fighting them in the back. Okay. Samnites have made it inside. At least one unit of Samnites have made it inside. The other two units still outside there. Looks like we have another Cretan archer getting to come inside. Yes, we do. Another Cretan archer making their way inside. Desert Legionnaires, 137 kills. Chosen Swords, we have another Spartan unit that have made their way over here. Okay, good. Another Royal Spartan has gotten over here. So where is Swaby and where's the rest of that Spartan force? Unless they just went to the town center. Maybe that's where they went. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Royal Spartan General making his way. Slowly walking over here. Good. No need to rush. No need to rush. This road right here is being handled. Royal Spartans getting over here, giving the Chosen Swordsman a bit of a hand. But now we have some Cretans getting up on the wall. This could make things a little interesting for this side of the defense. This Cretan Archer could fire in there. Start knocking that down, but there's really no reason to do that. At least not at this moment. Maybe firing at this... Uh, Royal Spartan unit. I mean, the, the tower here is definitely doing that already. Let's see if we can get an idea. Maybe we'll see where these guys are getting ready to start firing. All lining up still. A lot of arrows coming in, though. Cretan archers on that far side over there. Getting some shots into the center. Sicily starting to be for, starting to win here against the thorax. Firing. Okay, let's see where they fire. They're firing over here. Okay, so they are going to fire into the back of this thorax swordsman. Going to try and help break through this middle there. Then once this thorax probably breaks, they're going to start firing into the backs of these chosen swordsmen there. Oh, they both broke. There's the legionnaires broke and the thorax swordsman broke. Rodian Slingers got a good volley there, but we got Cretan Archers now charging up. Getting into melee. Here we go. Charging into nothing. So I guess they're just still trying to use them to block roads. Just keep things blocked open. Or blockaded, I guess. Uh, Spear Levy, though, still sitting over there for Swaby. We have a Royal Spartan have now climbed onto the wall. Coming down over here. Cretan Archers, hopefully they... Uh, Carthage player sees that. He is still shifting around some more infantry. We have another Cretan archer making their way forward. They only have 55 kills, though. They should still have a decent amount of ammo left. Sam Knight's here. They did a little bit of damage. Killing something. Oh, they killed the Royal Peltast. Royal Peltast, 106 kills, though. And they have slingers in front of them. Another Royal Peltast coming on over here. Yeah, slingers are getting good shots right here. Sam Knight's just took some losses there. Re yep, Slingers are going to fall away. Peltas are going to get into the side of them. And that should allow... He's still trying to run around with the Sam Knights, but they're going to get caught. And that should allow this Rodian right there turn around and start unloading. 
on this Sam Knight Warrior right now. They're getting closer. Here we go. We're going to get shots. Come on. Get those shots. Toss those stones. Sam Knight. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. A couple of them dropped. A couple of them dropped. Now, I did see some arrows come from here. Yeah, we got Cretan Archers firing across into the Rodian Slingers who are now starting to lose. These Cretans should probably... Are they out? Oh, I think they are out. Oh. Okay, that is a bit of a problem for sure. But the Sam Knight just got absolutely annihilated. No other way to say it. They got annihilated. Rodian Slingers, 208 kills. Now we have Royal Peltas getting into a unit of skirmishers that only have 13 kills. But don't let that fool you. The heavy Numidian skirmishers, not bad in melee. They are taking on Royal Peltas, so it's, you know, they could do what they could do, but they're probably not going to do very much. Uh, we have the Cretan Archers have scaled down the wall here, taking on the Royal Spartans, who are now down to four left. Here we go. We got some Swaby there. Oh, there we go. The general's still in the town center. Companion cavalry, noble riders. Hopefully, we see some more of the defending units coming down over here, though. Blood what do we still have? We got the Sam Knights. Right? One, two Sam Knights left. We got the desert cohort now coming inside. Carthaginian cav general, armor Numidian rider, Mesesily general. They're kind of running out of troops. They are kind of running out of troops here. Desert Cohort coming in. Going to try and back up these heavy uh, Numidian skirmishers, possibly. Desert Cohort going to charge on into that fight. Oh, what was that? That's the Cretans again. Yes, it is. Cretan archers firing right into that Spartan general. Forcing him to retreat. Companion Cavalry making their way over here. We have another Royal Spartan. 51 men. They are falling back though. Okay. This is actually... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Royal Spartans. A little bit of a javelin. A little bit of a volley right there. But here we go. The car... Oh, I'm sorry. The Macedon General. Now coming out and around... Did not get any kills with that volley. We got the Cretan archers there, though, firing away into that Macedonian general. Swordmasters back at the town center. What is this? Road? Oh, my God. Two more swordmasters. 105, 142. But this Macedon general starting to clean up here in the middle. Getting into some of the Numidian skirmishers there. Trying desperately to get into the Cretan archer. We have a general. Oh, the Midian general. Mesesily General is now charged in here, taking on the Companion Cavalry. He is starting to lose, attacked in the rear. Macedon going to continue moving units up here. He's going to try and get his General out of there. General, oh, wait a second. Another breakthrough here. Oh, no, no, no. We got the Royal Spartan General shifting down. Macedon General trying desperately to get out of there. It was a good move, but... Yeah, that Numidian general came in huge. Swordmasters, though, double swordmasters coming over. Should be able to save that companion cavalry general. Yeah. Is the general himself still alive? I believe he is. So, all right, let's get right back into the action here. Swordmasters, that's going to be a tough, tough, tough go for sure. Royal Spartan general over here still having a good fight, taking on the Desert Cohort. 136 for the Royal Spartan General, 84 left in the unit. Desert Cohort, 131 with only 46 kills, but they are losing. Royal Spartan General showing their dominance.
Rose Spartan General still holding pretty well. Oh, no. We got close and personal Cretan archers firing into that Spartan General. Yeah, they're getting some. I mean, the tree here is probably catching some. Yeah, that Spartan General. I was just about to say that Spartan General's got to fall back just a little bit. I mean, he can... Yeah, I was going to say he can put all three of these Royal Spartans like this next to each other, just side by side. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but he's going to charge that Royal Spartan back in there again. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'd probably get these other two to join him or even bring this 51 up there. Balance of power is looking desperately in favor of the defenders, though, now. Swordmasters charging in. Here comes that Numidian Cav again. Armored Dominion Rider General charging in there. Getting a little bit of damage to the Swordmasters. Now we have the Carthage General making his way, apparently making his way back inside the settlement. He's already down 25 men though. Not looking too good. Looking pretty rough. Sam Knights, 88 kills, 66 men. Another Sam Knight coming around over here. Going to maybe try and back up this Desert Cohort. Or would it be better for him to go this way to try and slow up this Swordmaster who are making their way here now? Okay, he did. He's taking on the Sam Knight, or taking on the Swordmasters with the Sam Knights. Full Sam Knight. Swordmasters have already earned themselves two Chevrons, though. 179 kills. Carthage General looks like he is going to be all but lost here in the middle. Armored Numidian Rider General falling around. Minute 23 left, guys. This looks like it's going to be a successful defense. Which, I have to say, most of the time, most of these uh, 3v4s that I get sent in, out of the ones that I have, I want to say that the attackers usually win. Just throwing that in there. Uh, but this this could be the change of a tide. Because this is, this is going to definitely be a loss. For the attackers. Royal Spartan General holding very well now against the Desert Cohort. He's still got yep, the 51 now coming up here now. Guess those other two units got broken down. You can see that Sam Knight in the distance getting shot in the back. Oh, wait a second. Did he break? No, he's just replacing. Okay. Royal Spartans, but here we go. Look at this. Everybody charging in over here. This is now taken out. African Scorpion, unfortunately, only 49 kills. That is going to be the end here of this battle. Uh, but I got to give big time shout for Rome attacking over here by himself. He ended up losing, but I want to say he caused a decent amount of damage. I want to say he did. There's a lot of spear levy over here, though, for Swaby. So, but we do see a decent amount of sword masters. We have... What, two or three sword masters up over here near the end of the battle? Let's get in. All right, so first, we, yeah, Byzantine, look at that, 2,600, wow. All right, let's take a look first here. We'll take a look at Doozy Bros. He was the one that sent the replay over. If you guys want me to cover battle replays, and that's across the entirety of the Total War universe, minus the Warhammers, I'm not a big fan. If you guys want me to, feel free to send the replays over to the Hungry Wolves Discord. Link for it is in the description below. But all right, Doozy Bros, 1876, 24 with his general, 193 with the Ballista. Oh, the giant ballista, I should say. Cretan archers, 125, 146, 131. Uh, his Libyan infantry, 211, 132, 150, 155. So four out of the seven did pretty good, getting over 100 kills. Gallic warriors, 107. Sam Knights, 121, 102. Ooh, 27. Ouch. Uh, then we have Olaf here, playing his Mercedes League, 1962. 65 with the general. Heavy skirms, one unit there, 215. Great job. Uh, Desert Legionnaires, 316, 169, 159, 131, 141, and the rest of his infantry, not much. Then we have Byzantine coming in, 2,661 kills with Rome, 25 with the General, Rodi, I'm sorry, Balearics, 197, Syrians, 217, 131, Evocati, 203, 103, 182, 221, 420 kills, wow, 186, and 249, and the Veteran Legionnaires, 112, 121, and 221, Hastati, we saw get destroyed. Then we have Arverni here with Yergrani, Yer 1987. Two with his general. Took, just left it in the town center for too long. Uh, he had five, actually. He had five ranged units. None of them really did. Actually, no, his slinger there, 134. 
Celtic Warriors, 149, 140. Chosen Swords, 186, 129, 137, 147, 136, 188. No, Os- only one Oswan, though. Probably would have been better to have an extra Oswan in there. Uh, then we have, I mean, that doesn't really matter. They won, but still, my preference, more Oswan is always better. Uh, then we have Alquazizif, Aquaz, uh, I don't know. 13 08 with Swaby, 12 with his general, four longbow hunters, so he didn't bring any of the Kimbri bow women. Uh, Round Shield Swordsman did not get very many kills. One of his longbow hunters, 128, though. A lot of spear levy. A lot of spear levy. It chosen, I'm sorry, his sword masters, 232, 199. Very good. Herf playing as Mastodon, 1547, 66 with the general. His range, 145, 158, 117 with the Cretans, 230 with the Rodian Slingers. Uh, his Royal Pope Test, 190, 106, pretty good. 153, 111 for some of his Thorax Swordsman there. And then we have Cardrinomial. Playing a Sparta 1148. 161 with his general. Archers didn't get very much. Rodians, not very much. Royal Spartans, though, 168, 155, 174, 109. So he did the Royal Spartan spam. Got six Royal Spartans. Okay, well, it is what it is. That is going to be the end of the battle replay here for you guys. If you enjoyed it again, like, comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel. But that's going to be the end. So have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.